have much to attend to. Who dares to disturb me? Greetings. It was Eunuch Zhang who spread the dubious elixir across the land, was it not? It seems you cannot talk your way out of conviction this time. <laughs> so you have already thrown away your humanity. Have you no respect for your superiors, Cao Cao? To sneak into my manor and disturb my work. <sighs> In return for your discourtesy, I shall just have to make do with your tea.
You... You are... What... What is the meaning of... Wait... It just wait... What is it you desire? You riches... Treasure... Women... Oh... I know... The elixir, yes? I'll give you half of all of it! <laughs> ah. With all this, I can finally forge an empire to last a thousand years. <laughs> like someone got here before us. This will bring forth a new wave of chaos on the land. If this is what has been destined, so be it. I shall just have to fight tooth and nail until the flames of chaos are quelled. not allow my status as a mere advisor to hold me back any longer. The House of Han is on its knees. It no longer has the power to unite the nation. That is why... I, Xiao Chao, shall bring down the evils of old and bring peace and prosperity to the land. What is needed now is a tactical mind unimpeded by morality. If you wish for an ally to walk beside you through the ravages of war, simply call upon this unscrupulous hero. For like Ju Chue, we shall soar through the sky engulfed in righteous fire! upon us. I must leave the capital and begin preparations. Mengdu, we are always at your service. Looks like it's finally time for our men to get to work. Huh. 